Hi, this is DJ Steve Nice. You're watching Winksound.com, and I'm going to be showing you how to make electronic house music with Ableton Live. Let's start out with the views because that seems to be something really important to me. Um, the view that you're looking at right now is called the arrangement view, which is the view that I use most. And to be able to change that, you go to the bars that are standing straight up and down to the uh, session view, which is which some would mostly use. I've seen people make tracks with it, but people would mostly use it for doing, uh, you know, like a live show. Now, right here is your loop button, which is important once you're in session view. If you, if, you know, you're trying to make a loop of a beat, see if it sounds good. Right here is if you want to sync up your MIDI, you press MIDI and you click on something and move the knob. Right here is all your bars. This is your pencil tool for automation. Um, you know, stop, play, record. This is your uh, beats per minute, which is very user friendly, which I like. You just, or you could type it in, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, this is your metronome right here. These are the instruments, live collection of instruments and effects and their presets, which are access to the browser. You could drag them into the track session or arrangement views to add them to your live set. Um, I don't normally use any of these. I use a lot of these because I use I pull in a lot of uh, a lot of audio and I use a lot of MIDI and pretty much do it from scratch. So I use a lot of these. Basically, you open them up. All right, you click on them. And they show up at the bottom right there. Same thing with the audio effects. You just double click on them and they'll affect whatever. This is your plugin device browser right here where you pull up all your plugins and it just like everything, it's very user friendly. Just double click and the plugin comes up. File browser one, where you could just browse all the files on your computer. Number two and number three. They're all file browser, just so you have an option of uh, places you want to go on your computer with your loops and your audio samples. That should get you started on you know the ins and outs of Ableton and really give you a good overview to help you really start making your first track or at least start experimenting and making your first bad track to help you move on to the next one and learn more stuff. So. Have fun. Well, I hope these videos really helped you in your future endeavors in making electronic music. And whatever it is that you're making, just make sure it's tailored to your own personality. Thanks for watching. Um, some of my affiliates are Groove Therapy, Rustic Productions, Warehouse Massive. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, Binghamton Upstate. If you want to contact me, my email is stevenice at winksound.com.